Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Dan Roy's Barbados Travel Vlogs. First of all, I would like to ask you guys to please leave a comment on the comment section. Let me know what you think about the video. Right now, I am at St. Lawrence Gap. About to enter St. Lawrence Gap. This is St. Lawrence Mirror Road, just outside the Cafe Sol, Mexican bar and restaurant. And this is the St. Lawrence Primary School here. And this is St. Lawrence Main Road, looking back up to Warren Stream. So again, I'm in the parish of Christ Church, which is on the south coast. This is Cafe Sal menu. So again, I would like to ask you guys to please leave a comment in the comment section. Let me get some feedback from you guys on my videos. So I'm about to enter the gap. This is a popular nightclub, night spot here in Barbados. This tall structure here is the Ocean Reef Hotel. And this is the absolute watering hole um, shop. And this is the Khadija's International Beauty Salon and the Spa. Looking back towards Cafe Sol. This is a Mexican restaurant. And St. Lawrence Primary School on the opposite side. This will take you about a Worthing on the south coast. So here it says St. Lawrence, St. Lawrence Gap. So I'm now about to take a trip through the gap. So this is the Cafe Saw restaurant. And this is the Castaways Bar and Grill. So this is Cafe Sol. And this is the Yellow Bird Hotel. And this is all St. Lawrence Bay here. Castaways Bar and Grill. So this is all the South Coast. The Yellow Bird Hotel. So St. Lawrence Gap is a popular night spot. Lots of nightclubs. St. Lawrence Gap is active mostly at night. And it's active especially on the weekends. Like, when you see like Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The event out here they start to get busy and active. All St. Lawrence Bay here. See the Ocean Reef Hotel in the background. And again, Cafe Sol. Cafe Sol. Mexican Margarita Bar and Restaurant. And the Yellow Bird Hotel. So this can be also referred to as the Gap. Some may refer to it as the Gap, or some may refer to it as St. Lawrence Gap. The um, Paulo Corasco do Brazil restaurant used to be here. A Brazilian state house, Paulo Corasco do Brazil restaurant used to be here years ago. I mean, not, it was it only not down last year or early this year because early this year it was still here. Well, the building and the Seahorse restaurant or something like that was to the bottom, but now all of it has been knocked down, so I don't know. I know it was the building was in the master of disappear for a while. This is the dive shop here. Oil and eats and rum shop here. This the um the witch doctor restaurant used to be here years ago. And this is the primo. So again, this is the Ocean Reef Hotel. And looking in a southern and a northerly direction towards Worthen Beach. And the Castaways Bar and Grill. This is all the south coast of Barbados. The Yellow Bird Hotel and the 
cafe style restaurant. And again, the day shop. Pretty rich doctor restaurant used to be. And again, Primo Bar and Bistro restaurant here. So this is now the dive shop. Primo Bar and Bistro restaurant here. So a lot of people like to gather in the gap. And this is St. Lawrence Anglican Church, right here. One of the House of Prayer by the Sea. St. Lawrence Church was established in 1838. And this is the cocktail kitchen restaurant here. St. Lawrence Anglican Church, established in 1838, known as the House of Prayer by the Sea. Cocktail kitchen. Restaurant. Looking back down to the gap. Primo Bar and Bistro. Cocktail Kitchen and St. Lawrence Anglican Church. I will take a walk. I will take a look in the church. This is the church office. And this is a look inside of St. Lawrence Anglican Church which was established in 1838. This is the chapel in the gap. The rear church. St. Lawrence Anglican Church at St. Lawrence Gap for the church. Established in 1838. So this is inside the St. Lawrence Anglican Church. At St. Lawrence Gap. This is the church office. And this is all the seaside behind here. This is the sea here. And St. Lawrence Church. St. Lawrence Anglican Church, established in 1838. That's how St. Lawrence Gap got its name, by the way, because of the church. You can see the bell here. It's a little chapel. It's not a big church. It's a little chapel. And this is the cocktail kitchen restaurant here. Oh, the cocktail kitchen here. Cocktail kitchen. So most of the nightclubs are heading this way. This is the Crave restaurant here.
career wrestler, right? Off Barbados. And this is my Nautilus Pub and Grub. Yeah. It says the naked truth about our waitress is that they only flirt with you to get a better tip. This is the restaurant menu here. Because of great story started with someone eating a salad. My Naughty's Pub and Grub here. Free beer, topless bartenders, and fast advertising. It says Rock, Rocket 27. Performs your Favorite rock and alternative hits this Sunday, 10 p.m. to 12 midnight, no cover charge. My Naughty's Pub and Grub in St. Lawrence Gap. So, this is, I'm not sure you know this hotel. I think it is. This is a condo, a condominium here. And this is the Apsara in Authentic and Indian Cuisine Restaurant. My Naughty's menu. And this is the Tabu Bar Restaurant over here as well. The Tabu Restaurant and Lunch here. This is the night club as well. Tabu. And this is House Kappa Bar here. Appetizer and Cow Beer. House Kappa Bar here. Police outpost here in the gap. So, lots of nightclubs and entertainment centers out here. Advertising the Fields, King of Fields Barbershop, not open. I'm not sure what they're building here, is it? This is the South Gap Hotel. Here, the Tropical Miss Bar Restaurant in it as well, and the Hall Out to Lounge is through here as well. This is the Harley Quinn Casual and Starlight Dining Restaurant here. Harley Quinn Restaurant. Has Car Park Bar. The Harley Quinn Restaurant. And this is the Ross Trevor Hotel here. Hotel. 
Let's travel hotel. This is the Salvino Mini Mart here. Or Rostrava Hotel. And this is the Sharkey's Tropical Cafe. So night should be falling in another hour or so. Soon from now, the gap will be starting to become lively and active. In another couple of minutes or so, this is the Mirabelle Apartments. We have the ICS Internet Cafe. And this is the Gap Convenience Store. With a mini mark, right? and you can see they have archery session over here. And this is the Cowboy Seaside Restaurant and Bar, and the Mimosa Seaside Pretoria and Bar. Over here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oil stains under the stairs here as well. Another hotel over here as well. And you can see the Davis South Winds Hotel over here as well. The pure ocean beachside dining through here. Pure ocean beachside dining here. And the best of Barbados gift shop through here as well. 
established in 1975. Oh, true St. Lawrence, yeah. This is the DV South Wings. I mean, this is the Southern Palm Hotel. This is Palm Court Apartments. No approach in Dover. In Christchurch. the Southern Palms Hotel, this pink building. Southern Palms Hotel. The vendor here is starting to come. Yeah. Come at a jewelry. And this St. Lawrence. Oh, St. Lawrence. Yeah, this is Dover. And this is the Jade Garden Chinese restaurant. And this is the Southern Palms Beach Club uh, Hotel. Jade Gardens Chinese restaurant and bar. All back to Dover. And the Southern Palms Hotel. Another restaurant here. I'm not sure the name of it yet. The St. Lawrence, so yes, that is the name of it. This is the restaurant here, the St. Lawrence. The All Star on Palms Hotel. Here. And this is the, another po another board advertising Carib beer and the Happy Days Cafe. Serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And this is the Chatterhouse Village here. I will go through there. I will go through the Chatterhouse Village. This is the at the bar pizza and wine. And even go on to watch your step at the bar, pizza and wine shop. <laughs> Cuban cigars in here as well. The Happy Days Cafe. Breakfast and lunch served daily. My friend's place, but you know. another clothing store here. Selling bags, 
hot. This one. Huh? Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. That's where they jewelry. Hot. And a Balmari towel. And a lion. Jamming Jamaica. And a Balmari hat. Balmari hats. And Jamaica hat. And four stars advertising Barbados. And jewelry here. And Steve Barmich is also a part of the Caribbean culture. Alright, thanks, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. So now we live in the Chatter House Village. So as I said before, this place is come to life at night, mostly. The bar pizza and one again. So as I said before, this is an area fit for entertainment at night, where, where, where it comes to life at night, mostly, rather than during the day. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Enjoy my tour to St. Lawrence Gap, which is another which is a popular nightclub, night spot here in Barbados with lots of nightclubs. Silver Fox slots here, which is an arcade. And this is Infinity on the beach. Hotel with C Fines Bar and Restaurant. Over any video at Dover Beach. So this is Infinity on the Beach Hotel. And you can see football at Dover Pasture. This is Dover playing field here. And this will take you back to the Bath Village and back to Top Rock and Quay Church and back to Oysters. And these are the vendor booths here, the kiosk here at Dover, Quay Church. I will end the video at Dover Beach, which is on the south coast as well, just off, just past St. Lawrence Gap. Thank you guys for watching now. I'm looking in a northerly direction, and this is a southerly direction towards Oystens, towards Dover and Maxwell which I will tell you guys shortly 
thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening